The number of people testing positive for COVID-19 across the state is stable. Still, the state is monitoring some counties that are seeing numbers now raising concern. As more businesses start to rebound and life gets back to a new normal, we ask ABC 10 News reporter Adam Rakusen to find out who's being monitored and how that impacts you. Nearly 40 million people, that's the population of California, spread out across 58 counties. So just imagine looking at that state map, uh, putting in over 40% of America's states, and that gives you a sense of the magnitude uh, of the state of California uh, and the magnitude of our responsibility to approach our response in a way that addresses the needs of different parts of the state of California. Each county is uniquely different, but they're all interconnected. On Monday, yeah, Governor Gavin Newsom noted as each that, reopens at its own pace, the state is watching, collecting, and analyzing health data. We actively monitor all 58 counties and their current data. While overall, California has shown progress, the state launched a monitoring list. This slide uh, is, is, as the governor mentioned, the slide that we look at every day. As of Wednesday, state officials are working with 10 counties that have impact indicators of concern. We did receive a red um, uh, number in our increasing hospitalization. At a Santa Barbara County Board of Supervisors meeting earlier this week, health officials explained the state's concern about hospitalizations. What they weren't sure of if it's Santa Barbara County residents hospitalized or people from outside the county. We will be meeting with the state uh, tomorrow, the team, to talk about the drivers of these, at the increased hospitalization and what are our next steps. Other counties on the list are dealing with things like elevated disease transmission, potentially from public protests with large numbers of people in close proximity without face coverings, and outbreaks in skilled nursing facilities and prisons. According to public health officials, knowing where local governments stand and the actions they're taking is crucial to limiting the spread of COVID-19. As we look to reopen, uh, we stay very vigilant around the data points that matter, and we can support counties. Adam Rakusin, ABC 10 News. Health officials say if a county that is being monitored meets the state threshold for three consecutive days, that indicator will no longer be flagged. And to learn more about what the state is monitoring, head to our website, 10news.com slash rebound. There you can get connected to resources about health, jobs, and family. Here are the latest local numbers. Today, the county is reporting 238 new cases. That pushed our total to date to above 10,000. The county also reported four more deaths, bringing that total to 331.